Hey Leo, let's see what's going on in your love life right now. This is a reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and anybody who's dealing with a Leo romantically. This is also a timeless reading today, Leo. Whenever you click into this video is when you're meant to hear the messages. But I do remind you, it is also a general reading, so it may or may not resonate, and you are more than welcome to take what works and leave the rest. So what do we got going on for Leo in love? First card out today, we've got the star. Aquarian energy. What does the star card represent, Leo? The star card represents hope, healing, and optimism. The star card tells me that you have been through some sort of challenge here when it comes to love. You could be getting over a heartbreak right now. You might be dealing with a situation that you feel has been heartbreaking within your love life. There could be some sort of challenge or issue that you've experienced within your current relationship for those of you who are partnered. And maybe there's an element here of needing to go through healing within the connection. But ultimately, the star card also represents a hopefulness and an optimism for the future. And what I feel here ultimately happening for you, Leo, is that somebody wants to make amends. Somebody wants to heal something with you. Somebody might want to say sorry. Somebody might want to apologize for something that they've done here to hurt you. And I feel like there's going to be an opportunity for emotional healing to happen. Tell me more for Leo. The Four of Wands. Wow. This is a serious commitment. Whoever it is that wants to heal things with you, Leo, this is somebody who sees a future with you. This is somebody who looks at you as the one that they want to be with. The Four of Wands is the 11-11 card. It's about escalating commitment. It's about taking a relationship to a deeper level. And so if there has been some sort of heartbreak or challenge within a connection, I feel like there is somebody here who is very motivated to fix that with you, Leo. That's why I was saying they could be coming in with an apology. They could be saying they're sorry. Because at the end of the day, when they think about the future, they see a future with you. And they want to be in a position right now where they can actively move things forward within the connection. Is it possible that this is somebody coming back from the past? Yes, take it or leave it if that connects with your situation. It could also be related to healing within your current partnership. Now, for those of you who are single, I feel like the energy of the person who's coming in for you is somebody who has gone through a lot and has had challenge and has had heartbreak. And I feel like this person has worked on their emotional healing and they're at a point now where they've done enough work on themselves that they feel ready to set down roots. They feel ready to commit. So this might be something that you and this person end up talking about where they say to you, you know, Leo, I went through a bad breakup a few years ago. I took some time to be single. I took some time to be on my own and now I'm feeling ready to commit. So they could be expressing something like that to you, Leo. And you can take the energy interchangeably. Perhaps this has been your experience over the last few years. Maybe you've been healing from something. You've been prioritizing your well-being. You've been prioritizing yourself. You've been doing things that make you feel good, things that make you feel happy. And now you're at a point where you're feeling ready to attract in the person who will commit to you and the person who will love you. Five of Pentacles. But here's the thing, Leo. I do see the potential here within this connection for either you or your person to get triggered. As much as there's been emotional healing, I do think there will be moments here where either you or your person get pulled back in to those fears and that anxiety. The Five of Pentacles is ultimately a card about feeling abandoned, feeling left out in the cold, feeling disconnected. To me, within a love rating, this card represents an abandonment wound. It represents the fears and the insecurities that we have about being left, about it being abandoned within a relationship. And so what I see happening here is that, like I said, with the star, somebody has experienced pain, but they've gone through emotional healing. They're looking for commitment with you, Leo. But I do think that there are moments where these fears and anxieties, they still come up within the connection. And there could even be something that triggers them or triggers you if you're connecting with this energy. And I think this is something that the two of you are probably going to have to be mindful of within your connection because 
it does feel potentially like you and your person might be bringing that emotional stuff from the past into the relationship. As much as there's been emotional healing, there could be a little bit of lingering emotional baggage here. And I think it's important that if this is you, Leo, you need to recognize how that baggage is showing up in the relationship. But if this is your person, they're going to have to recognize the way that it triggers them. So it's interesting because there's love here, but I do think that there could be moments where past fears and insecurities pop up and create a little bit of a disconnect within the connection. Tell me more. Nine of Pentacles. So this is a card about being self-sufficient, loving yourself, putting yourself first, prioritizing your well-being. So there's a little bit of energy here as well of perhaps being scared to get into another relationship. I'm going to say that, Leo, for some of you. If you're a single Leo, there might be a little bit of fear here where you might be worried about actually putting yourself out there. And that could be what's even showing up in your current relationship for those of you who are in a relationship. It might be that you love your person, you're into your person, you're attracted to them, but as things start to get a little bit more serious, you start to get a little bit scared because maybe you've had this experience in the past where you put your heart out there, you loved somebody, you let them know that you wanted them, and maybe they rejected you. And this could be your person. Maybe they've had that experience where they've been rejected in the past. And so this is what I'm talking about, where I feel a lot of love between you and this person, but I also feel like there are some fears and some anxieties that appear to still be present within the connection. And this might be interesting for you, Leo, because you might be dealing with this person and you might be thinking, I'm healed from the past. I'm good. I'm over that ex. And then something happens in the connection between the two of you right now. And you're like, hmm, maybe I'm not as over my ex as I thought I was. And so there's there's an energy of you or your person thinking that things are good, but then something might happen between the two of you where one of you gets triggered, right? And this happens within relationships. And so the big question here is that if this is something that you're experiencing, how do the two of you support each other in those moments where one of you might be feeling triggered? Tell me more, please, for Leo. The chariot here, okay? So the chariot is ultimately about asking yourself, how do we move forward? How do we take the reins and how do we move past any of these fears? Because I do think that this is a connection that's going somewhere, Leo. I really think that this relationship is going places between you and this person, but because there's this emotional wounding that I feel in the past showing up for you and your person potentially, I do see it kind of seeping into the relationship at points and causing problems. And so it really becomes that question of, how do we make sure that these past experiences don't come in and completely derail the connection between the two of you? What do you do, Leo? Well, ultimately, it's about a sense of having willpower and determination to move forward. I think it's about presenting a united front here with you and your person where you commit to each other that if challenges come up, if one of you feels triggered, here's how you're going to support each other and here's how you're going to move forward. I think there's an invitation here to really support each other and love each other. But I also think with that nine of pentacles, it's very important, Leo, that both you and your person are taking individual responsibility for your healing. So within a situation like this, where there could be emotional baggage that's coming into a connection, it's about supporting each other, but it's also about each person being responsible for continuing to do the work that they need to do in order to be happy and healthy. And so it's about how do you support each other as each of you are growing and evolving and transforming within the relationship. And another thing that's coming to mind is this connection between you and this person, Leo, it feels like it's an incredible growth opportunity. There's something really like really lovely and supportive about this relationship where it's almost as if let's say you're coming into it and maybe you've got these abandonment wounds and you've got these fears because of things that have happened to you in the past and then you go into this relationship and something happens that makes you feel a little bit triggered because of what you've gone through before but in this case your current partner reacts completely differently than how your person in the past reacted and through that because they're reacting differently, because they're supporting you, because they're loving you, this shows you 
that people can be different and it can help you rewrite those old narratives that you have about yourself where maybe you're saying people always leave me, people always abandon me, but then you have someone here who's like, I'm not leaving you, Leo, I'm not abandoning you. And through that process, you learn to see things differently. And I feel like this is the kind of connection where it presents the opportunity for a lot of healing to happen between the two of you. Tell me more, please. Tell me more. Three of Cups. Beautiful. I think you've got a very solid social support network here. I think that, I don't know, for some of you, I think that this is a friendship that turned romantic. If you're not currently with this person, Leo, it could definitely be that you're starting to see a friend in a different light. But I definitely feel like this person, they're excited about you. They want you to be part of their friends and their family and their social circle. They want you to be integrated into that, Leo. And I, I just, I feel like this person goes to their friends and talks about you a lot in really positive ways where they're talking about their feelings for you and their affection for you and their love for you. And then let's say there are challenging moments. Let's say that they get triggered or you get triggered. I feel them going to their friends and being like, I really love Leo, this thing happened and I wanna handle it the best way that I can. How can I do it? How can I approach this in a way that will help us resolve this issue? And I'm getting this really lovely energy of, first of all, just love, but also them wanting to problem solve whenever something challenging comes up. And again, you may not have experienced that before in past relationships, and it feels like a very different energy for some of you than what you're used to experiencing. What else? The Ten of Wands. Okay, so this is the emotional baggage, you guys. I'm not surprised to see this showing up because I was already tapping into this energy earlier in your reading, okay? This is representing whatever it is that you and your person need to get closure about in order to move forward. So I feel this could be both of you, honestly. My intuitive feel on this, Leo, is that both of you are probably bringing a little bit of this into the connection. We all have this, by the way. I think this is a very normal thing. But the question becomes, how do I deal with this emotional baggage? How do I get the closure that I need about stuff that happened to me in the past so that I can show up fully engaged and present in this connection that I'm with right now. And I feel like this is a really prime opportunity for the two of you to do some beautiful healing. And through this relationship, there could be a lot of healing that each of you can experience. And through that, I feel like this is going to increase your ability to trust and to love and to open up. But you have to be intentional about letting go of the things that are weighing heavily on you, the stresses, the emotional baggage, whatever this represents for you or your person, Leo, I think that this needs to be dealt with in order for the two of you to move forward within your connection. Tell me more for Leo, three of swords. Guys, seriously, look at this, okay? Actually, look at this, three of cups, 10 of wands, three of swords. This is the emotional baggage, okay? For some of you, I'm gonna give a very direct message. The issue here is that either you or your person, maybe both of you have had this experience, you were cheated on in a past relationship. And as much as you think you've let that go, there is still fear attached to that. Again, I think that's normal, you guys. Being cheated on is a horrific experience. Um, I went through a very long period in my life where I was never cheated on, and then I had a partner cheat on me, and I can tell you it was the worst thing I've ever gone through. I have never experienced anything like that before, and it's something about it that just kind of changes your perspective and changes who you are. And this was a long time ago for me that this happened, but there are still moments where it comes up for me because there's something about that betrayal trauma within the context of a relationship that really kind of fucks with our head, excuse my language, but that's like how it appears to me, Leo. It's like it really, really messes us up. It really kind of just digs in and gets in our brain and it can linger and it can stay there even years after we feel like we've dealt with something. And so that's what I'm feeling here is like either you and or your person have some sort of betrayal trauma that you experienced in the past. And as much as you've moved forward, it's still kind of there because it was such an emotional and such a traumatic thing that happened. And again, I, I think this is, I feel like this is normal because I feel like betrayal trauma is just such a horrible thing to happen. And I feel like healing is not linear. You feel good sometimes. And then at other times you might be reminded. And I just think that 
there's still a little bit of that emotional residue that I feel lingering. And as much as you've got somebody here who I feel is moving towards you, wanting to commit to you, there are still some of those fears kind of like rattling around in your heart or rattling around in your mind. And there are points right now where I feel you could be reminded of that. And it's probably kind of annoying because I feel like what's going to happen is something happens right now and you're feeling a little bit triggered and you're like, oh my gosh, I thought I dealt with this two years ago, right? But then you realize there's still a little bit of pain there. There's still a little bit of that anxiety, but what do you do with it, Leo? It's an opportunity for you to have that willpower to move forward. And like I said before, I think the way that your person reacts to you, if this is happening, if you're resonating with this reading, it's going to tell you a lot. Because my sense here is that this person is going to be very different than the person who you dated before. And so you might be thinking that they're gonna be like your ex, and then you bring this issue up and they end up being supportive and loving and caring. And it's proving to you that you have attracted in a different kind of energy and a different kind of partnership. So I also wanna say for some of you guys, I want you to acknowledge the growth that you've experienced because even though there might be a little bit of a setback happening right now where you're reminded of a past betrayal or trauma that you experienced, I think you've come a long way. My intuition here is like, you've actually come a very long way. Don't look at this as a setback. Look at it as more of an opportunity to continue to release and to continue to heal your heart. And for many of you, what I see here is that this healing could be happening within the context of whoever is here for you currently. Tell me more, tell me more. The hermit, this is also a good time for introspection, deep thinking. If you are getting triggered, Give yourself some time and space, my loves. Process it, work through it. Go to counseling if you need a third party, second party, third party, yeah, third party. <laughs> I'm like, is it second party or third party? I don't know. Go to counseling if you need another person's supportive perspective, right? Like if this is something that's really bothering you, um, counseling could definitely be something that could help, right? Let's see what else we got for Leo. And then we got the three of wands. So ultimately what's happening here, you guys, is... I see you moving forward. The three of wands is about your ships coming in, something that you've been waiting for, something that you've been wishing for. And I think that what is going on is you've been wishing for a love that supports you. That's honestly what I feel. You've been wishing for somebody to come in and show you that love can be different. And this is, I'm talking specifically to those of you who have had this pain and this hurt in past relationships. And maybe you've lost that hope and maybe you've lost that desire to even try to find love because you've been hurt before, but then there's still this little part of your heart that's like, but I wanna put myself out there. And you know, you do what you're comfortable with, but my opinion is keep putting yourself out there. That's my opinion, that's not a tarot thing, you guys. Don't let past people's shitty behavior hold you back from living your best life and finding the person you're gonna love. And I feel like there is somebody coming in, they may have their own stuff that they're bringing into it, but if both of you can be open and talk about it, there could be healing that happens within this connection. And ultimately, I see you moving forward with that three of wands and getting what you want when it comes to love. But I, I think that this is going to be a very big healing relationship for you and this person. And it's just about supporting each other and finding that there are people out there who will love you and support you and they might teach you that you can open up your heart again and trust. So that's what I see happening for you right now, Leo. If you resonate with this message, if you enjoyed this reading, give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Now I do offer personal tarot readings through my Etsy shop. It is a different style than what I offer here on YouTube. So sometimes people go to Etsy and they get a reading from me and they're like, it's different. And I'm like, yes, it is different. Make sure you read the description because I do things a little bit different over on Etsy. So if you're interested though in getting a personal reading, feel free to check that out. The link is in the description box below this video. And of course, I wish you so much love and so much happiness, my darling lions. And we will talk again very soon. Bye Leo.